Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a super exciting video because it's been a long time since I got a chance to go to HomeSense and after almost three months of the city being in quarantine and lockdown, all the HomeSense winners, TJX, Marshalls, I think that's it in the TJX range, have finally reopened and I may have done some shopping. But before we jump into any of my haul, I did want to make a couple of disclaimers that Please only go out if you have all the right PPE on you. Make sure that you're hand sanitizing before you go into the store and that you're sanitizing all of your items when you bring it back home because you want to be very, very careful. Last thing you want to do is to bring coronavirus back home, so please be careful. When we went, we actually lined up about an hour before it opened. It opened at around, I think, 11 o'clock in the morning. We got there at 10 a.m. because we anticipated that the stores would be slammed and they definitely did from all the videos and photos that I've seen on like Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Every single store had like a massive lineup. So we went way ahead of time. Everybody was extremely well spaced out. I would say even like more than two meters away from each other in the lineup. I know probably a lot of you guys have seen videos where people are lined down like across the street, around, wrapped around the store and everything. But if you really think about it, the lines are long, but that's because everybody is spread out. If everybody had been packed together pre-coronavirus style, then the lines would have been significantly shorter. So I did want to preface that everybody was very well spaced out in the line. When you went into the store, they had a max capacity for each and every single store each store is different so it's going to depend on which one you go to i believe the one that i went to had a max capacity of like 100 but it was in one of like the suburbs i went to the one in etobicoke and it was massive like one of those huge warehouse home sense ones so it was really easy to space out for everybody all the carts were pre-sanitized before going in i had actually walked over to one of those little cart collecting stations i don't know what they're called i think they're called cart coral corrals corals and i went to go get one and she actually told me to not take those because they had a whole slew of them in the store already pre-sanitized ready to go for us so went into the store grab one first thing you do when you go in is they make you sanitize your hands with some purell so we had that and then you go get one of the pre-sanitized carts and then you're set to go and to go shopping so i know a lot of you guys probably saw like amazing deals in so many of the home senses i saw some of them were like planters for 25 percent off some things were like literally marked down to a dollar from 15 some things were like a hundred dollars marked down to 25 and yes there are definitely some amazing deals to be had there but not everything was on sale i'm going to share with you guys a little tip that i learned off of tiktok of all places to tell whether or not something is going to be on sale and if you should hold out for it or if it's just gonna stay full price. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the haul. I have a plethora of things that I bought. I actually have already returned a couple things because as soon as I brought them home, I decided they weren't for me. So I won't be sharing those ones, but I'm gonna share with you guys what I did buy and chances are what I'm gonna end up keeping. Some of the things I may actually give to my mom, not 100% sure yet, or I may just like offer to my friends before I return them directly to the store just to save them a trip. And yeah, there's a lot. So let's just dive right into it. So I'm only gonna show you one of these because I got two of them, but it is this outdoor, I guess indoor outdoor pillow. It's this like really nice kind of, I don't know, it feels like a like a straw weave. This one actually was full priced. It is priced at $50 a pillow, which is extreme, but you guys know pillows do get kind of expensive. And then the home sense price listing was actually $29. They marked it down to $24 for clearance. And although that's not that steep of a discount, I've actually been having the hardest time looking for really cute outdoor pillows. A lot of them are just like very bland and not my style. And when it comes to pillows, you know you have a specific style that you're looking for. So this is the first time I've actually found something that looks like this, actually even in that price range. A lot of other outdoor pillows that I've been looking at cost anywhere from like 35 to like $45 and upwards of that. I think it might just be the construction of the material that makes it so sturdy and able to be used outdoors frequently over and over without it getting stained, molding, or like rotting. So I kind of jumped on it and HomeSense didn't have that many outdoor pillows when I was there. Anyways, a lot of them were just indoor decorative pillows. So I figured this one would be a good one. Snag two of them. These are for our brand new balcony furniture that we just bought recently. Super excited to bring these back out once it's a little bit sunnier. I know it probably looks sunny in here right now, but I have like a nice little reflector setup that's like bouncing light off of me and I'm very happy about because now I can have nice and evenly lit up videos. So I got two of these. So in total, these were $48 for two pillows. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys is something that I was really excited for, but I think there might be a division of opinions here. I got this little bust. I know some of you guys are probably like, what the hell is that? It is so creepy. What are you gonna do with it? I think it was beautiful. And this is regularly priced at $50. In store, it's marked down to $39. And I actually got this on clearance for 
$30. I think $30 for a bust is actually decently priced because if you guys go into decor stores and look for these things, they're usually like $50 and upwards. So I thought that this was a relatively nice one. I would have preferred a female one, but I was in one of those moments where my headspace was just buy everything that you see, bring it home, and if you don't like it, then return it. So this is one of the ones that I picked up and threw them to my cart and brought back home afterwards. I'm not 100% sure if I want to keep this one just because it's a little bit big for my space and I'm kind of at like an impasse right now as to how I want to decorate my space. I have three different aesthetics running through my place right now. I've got this like boho relaxed cottage core style. I've got this like minimal black, white, gold style going on and I also have like a French Parisian style which is what this would fall in line to and I don't think that this is necessarily going to match my space but my mom has a beautiful Grecian colon at home that she acquired off of like Kijiji or something that she puts plant pots on and I actually think this would look really nice on that column as well so I may just bring this back home for her and leave it there so in the future if I ever want to use it for props for myself I can or I can take it to my house in the future when I buy one so I think I'm gonna keep it I think this is actually a really fairly decent price for a bust this large I'm gonna continue looking for them and seeing if I can find like a smaller version but I'm actually really really happy with this find sometimes home sense and winners you'll land on like jackpot finds and this is definitely one of them otherwise most of the stuff sometimes is just like everyday home decor pieces that I just kind of like glance and skip over but I love being able to find those like jackpot unicorn pieces this is definitely one of them. If you guys are looking for decor that kind of matches that like Parisian antique vibe definitely hit up home sense because you might be able to find some pieces that are like this without having to cost an arm and a leg because I know on Amazon when I'm looking at these they're like $100 for them so ain't nobody trying to spend that much on home decor if they didn't have to. The next piece I'm going to show you is something that you may actually see permanently in all my videos moving forward and by that I mean it is a piece of art. Ta-da! We are actually in the process of kind of laying out an album wall on this wall behind me right here. For the longest time we have a bunch of frames and prints that I want to put up but I've been on the search for like a nice piece of statement art to kind of anchor everything and I think I finally have it. Isn't this beautiful? I love just like the simplicity of it. I think this is actually an original piece of art, not one of the prints that HomeSense just like licenses and reprints and sells because it's like 3D so it looks like somebody actually painted this. I think HomeSense probably has some sort of contract with artists where they just like purchase art off of them and I just really liked how this was mounted onto this wooden frame. Granted there are a couple of nicks along here which I think just comes with storing the art in the store, people damaging it, pushing frames back and forth on top. So I'm actually just going to take a wood pen that you can get from anywhere like Home Depot or Canadian Tire and just touch it up so that you don't don't notice any of the nicks. This doesn't seem like this is actually wood but some sort of like light plaster that's been made to look like wood which is why underneath the nick it's white. I'm okay with that. It was only $30. This one was not on sale that's why it doesn't have one of those red labels on here. This is originally priced at $50 and marked down to $29 at HomeSense but I just like this print so much that I had to bring it home and I think it's gonna do a really nice job at anchoring the warmth from the couch onto the wall right here and then I might just like intersperse some line art around behind it of varying sizes just to give it more of that like album wall feel without it being overpowering so you guys may see this in the long run behind me on the wall here not quite sure when I'm gonna anchor it just quite yet because I still need a couple more pieces before I finish like the whole layout but besides that I'm very excited to finally have this like nice more original art piece and I just love all the different warm colors that are going to help bring your place together. Speaking of which since I'm actually on this one and this one was one of the few pieces that were not on sale that I purchased from HomeSense I'm actually going to tell you guys a little bit about this like system as to whether or not things are going to go on sale or not. So if you notice at the top of all of your stickers there's like a series of numbers it'll say like the style and there's like five numbers or whatever across here. I'm going to do a close up of it so you guys can see carefully. So if you guys look at the first two digits at the top here it actually dictates the month that it hit the store. So this one says 05 which means May which means this one just hit the store recently and it's not going to go on sale anytime soon. It's probably going to sit in store for at least a couple more months before it starts to go on sale or gets marked down to clearance. But if you're looking at this and you're wondering oh, should I buy it? Is it going to go on sale anytime soon? That's how you figure it out whether or not it's going to be on sale. I really like this one and since everybody seems to be rating HomeSense right now, I was just more concerned that if I waited a couple months more longer, it would be completely sold out by the time I go back. It's a very beautiful piece and it actually looks like one of those highly coveted pieces. You know when you walk into HomeSense and you look at something you're like, I know that's going to be purchased and snatched within like a day or two 
if I don't take it now. This is one of those pieces that I know people will probably be willing to pay full price for, so I decided to take it anyways. If it happens to be there down the road, I don't know, like a month or two from now, I will kick myself in the back and tell myself I should have just waited. But I really loved it, and it was one of those art pieces where like, I just fell in love with it. And you know when it comes to art, when you like it, you know you like it. It's not a whether or not like, oh, I'm not too sure. It's one of those like, yeah, I like it. I'm gonna get it. This is one of those pieces. So look at the sticker, and that's how it's gonna tell you whether or not an item is just recently placed on the floor, or if it's been there for a while, and if it has hasn't sold in my one sale soon. Next I'm going to show you guys is actually like a couple of things in this range and I may have gone a little crazy with these but I just love them so much. They're things that I've been looking for for a while now so I was very happy that I found them in the store and it is a bunch of rattan planters. I don't even know if it's going to fit in the video. Don't worry everything as you probably saw by now is going to have like a little cutout like my usual videos so you can see them up close as well without me having to hold on to it and distract you but I got this beautiful planter. They had a ton of these. When I first went into home sense i think there was like a stand of approximately like six or seven of these and literally within 15 minutes of me taking one for myself they had all been taken by other people that's how popular they were i think ikea sells something similar to this called like a busco or busbo or something like that for 30 dollars. so if you're looking for something that's similar to this you can definitely get that one unfortunately that one doesn't come in the height that i'm looking for so when i saw these ones i instantly grabbed them i need something that's actually relatively elevated above off the floor because my spider plant, if you guys are not familiar with those, actually spawns little babies that hang off the side and it likes to dangle quite far. And the other plant stand, the one that I got from Home Goods, and I showed you guys from my LA vlog of what I bought, it's not tall enough for it anymore and the babies are seriously hanging off. So I saw some of these and I picked them up and I figured that these would be great to elevate the spider plant off the floor because I can't hang things in my place. We can't drill into the concrete here since we're renting and it works out perfectly and I'm so happy. I currently have one with the cider plant sitting in this room to the corner where all my other plants are and then I'm gonna put this one I think into the bedroom I'm gonna show you guys how much this one was if I read the sticker at the top here it says that this dropped in 02 which means February it is compared at $90 I don't know what it was marked down to in the store for home sense sales but it was on clearance for 53 so I know that that's not the most cheapest of a sale when it comes to sales at home sense and I know you've definitely seen some other users or influencers online post that they found things for like $10 but when it comes to return and worker things they're super trendy and have that really bohemian vibe that if I wasn't gonna get it somebody else was so I figured I might as well just pick it up and bring it home and if I decided I didn't want it I would bring it back afterwards and I think that this one's not gonna last that long anyway since it's already been marked down to clearance and it's been around since February so the likelihood of me being able to locate it again after this was pretty low which is why I snatched it back home and I think the price is actually decently priced for this sort of product everywhere I go when I go to places like Structube or West Elm or CB2 these are marked up to almost like a hundred dollars so I was pretty happy with it which is why I ended up bringing this guy home so this is for tan planter number one and remember I said number one this is rattan planter number two so like I said love this style this is actually a little bit shorter I believe when I put it down this sits about like four inches shorter than the other one but it's a very different style and if you guys kind of like mix and match heights and put them together it creates a nice visual for the eye to look at which is why I also picked up one at this height this is not the one I'm currently using to put a spider plant in I'm actually wondering what the hell I'm going to do with this one because this is an additional that I do not have space in my place for so this one is another one that may either be returned or offered to my friends or brought home to my mom so that she can use it because I know she loves this style as well when it comes to plants this one unfortunately was not on sale it is $65 MSRP and marked down to $50 Fifty dollars in store, forty nine ninety nine. This one also dropped in February, which is strange why it wasn't on sale. But another one of those things that was like, if I didn't get it, somebody else would. So I figured I might as well just pick it up and see how I like it. I just like love the design of this one, and I actually primarily really liked the legs of this. It's a little bit more simple. Ugh than this rattan one. There's only four legs on it. And I also like that it didn't take up that much space for real estate on the floor. Unfortunately, that one is quite a wide rattan basket. The legs spread out even wider at the base of so the diameter is almost like one and a half of this one. This one's fairly slim and it goes down straight here. So I like that it doesn't take up too much real estate and space in my place, which makes it easier for me to put other things around it. And also has this like flat little pedestal in the middle. So if you have something that can fit in here, you might be able to utilize it as well. So I really like this one and it's a little bit shorter than the other one, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna bring it back to my mom. In the meantime, it's gonna be staying here until I can go back to Ottawa in June. Very last rattan planter I'm gonna show you guys 
I did get three of them. This is a taller version of the one that I just showed you guys. And this actually has my spider plant in it right now, which is why you see all this green stuff in front of you. This is oh, almost, I think it's the exact same height as the very first rattan planter that I showed you guys. And this is what I mean by the spider babies just like hanging off. She likes to hang off like this. And this was dragging on the floor when I had her placed in the home goods black planter, which is why I needed a taller one. So now it's been elevated and it has this much more space to hang off the floor. So it's much more happy now. And I'm happy because it's not dragging all over the floor. This one also was not on sale. I think that this particular style in general between this one and the shorter one before it is a little bit more popular because it's a little bit more simple, takes up less real estate, which is why they probably didn't mark it down. But I believe it also has the same date code as a small one. Yeah. Oh, two. So that means February. So this one's also priced regularly at $90 and the home sense price is $69.99. So $70. So it's a little bit cheaper than the first rattan one that I showed you for the in-store home sense price, which means this probably could have been marked down to even less than 53 bucks on sale, probably even like 45 bucks. I didn't want to gamble and hope that I wouldn't be able to find it if I left and didn't buy it because it's a really popular style right now. So I just brought it home anyways. I actually really like it at the moment because it has like a really slim body profile and doesn't take up a lot of space, which makes it nice because then it doesn't fill up our whole space too much so I think I'm actually really gonna keep this one and yeah it's gonna stay here with me very last thing I'm gonna show you guys it's a little bit difficult for me to pick up so I'm gonna try to do my best without tipping it over or breaking it and it is this ooh, this little wooden side table right here this is currently sitting on my leg so I can show you guys what it looks like this part actually comes off to the base it's not secure which is why there's like string around it but I primarily really like because it has these like really pretty pink and black speckles all over it. I love that it has like a pure wooden base. It's not like fake wood or anything. It's quite substantial size wise. I primarily got this because I wanted it as a side table for outside in our patio. So that when I sit down, I can put my cups on it if I'm lounging one of the chairs versus the low kind of like chat table. This one is regularly priced at $100, marked down in store to $79.99, and HomeSense actually put this one on sale for $60. The date mark on this one is actually 02, which means February, so that's probably why I was on sale. And I'm kind of getting annoyed that those two other pieces that were marked for February were not on sale. I feel like they should have been. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe I'll go back next week or something and see if I can find them again. If not, then I know it was a good idea to buy them immediately because they were not marked down. Anywho, this table, I love it. The only issue is that it rocks a little bit. The feet are not completely even. So I'm either going to have to put a felt pad on one of the sides that rocks or sand down the wood on the other two legs that are a little bit higher than the main two legs. I am not 100% sure if I actually want to keep this one just because when I looked underneath it after I brought it home, it said for indoor use only. So it's probably not going to be a good idea for me to leave this outside. Chances are the wood is either going to rot or the base of the table is actually going to crack with the snow. We live in a small condo, but we do have an outdoor balcony that gets some snow in the winter. Toronto doesn't get as much snow as Ottawa, so I'm not too concerned about that. But I think with the minimal snow that we do get, it may crack this. I've had other pots that I've left out over the winter time that have cracked in the past before. And those were like really small, cheap Ikea pots. I don't think I paid more than $2 for, but for something that I'm committing $60 to, I really don't want it to break. So I'm actually gonna hit my mom and see if she's interested in this one so that she can use it at our home in Ottawa, or if she wants to just store it there in the meantime until I buy my house and I can use it then. Otherwise, if she doesn't, then I'll probably return to the store, but beautiful find. It's another one of those ones that I think I've had my eye on for a while. I love this type of like mixed media surface. I have a plant pot that I bought from HomeSense that's black that has a similar style to this and I thought that this would go really well together with that one but unfortunately I don't know if I have a real use for this one so this one's probably going to be going back to HomeSense if nobody wants it. So that is essentially it for my HomeSense haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think altogether I spent around like $400 for all of this stuff. Granted I may not necessarily keep all of it but most of the things I think I'm going to keep so I'm pretty happy with this haul. Had a lot of these not been on sale it probably would have been upwards of like $450 to like $475. So pretty happy with the haul and I don't think I spent too much. Honestly, when I looked at my credit card over the past couple of months, the only thing I spent money on is groceries and maybe like the random takeout here and there and my other bills. So I'm actually okay with buying this stuff because I haven't done a lot of shopping online at all since we've been in quarantine. Very happy with my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you hit up HomeSense when it reopened. I'd love to know what you guys managed to score because I love going there and finding treasures. I don't know, there's this like strange excitement to acquiring goods when it comes to home sense and you find something that you love so much and you're just like wow that was jackpot that's kind of how i felt about those rattan potters and that bust 
So I'm gonna live vicariously through you guys because I don't really plan on going to HomeSense anytime soon for another haul besides to return these things if I decide not to keep them. So please let me live vicariously through you and let me know what you guys ended up picking up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, please let me know in the comments down below and give me a big thumbs up. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe so that you guys know every single time I post a brand new video. I have a new video up every Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. EST. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!